Breathing in. And breathing out again. Breathing in. And breathing out again. Breathing in. And breathing out again. Today is the 22nd of July and I thought I would record a film today because 40 years ago um, on this day, this was the day that I was born. So yeah, it's an interesting reflection for me about, yeah, it's been 40 years being here on this earth. And I was just talking to my wife. being here and I thought mm. there have been many times over the, the past 40 years where yeah, I've really not wanted to be here and so today being here now it's like I guess it's a blessing but yeah I'm, I've made it to here there's many times that I've wanted to give up yeah And yet, listening to other people's stories, listening to other people reflecting their own life experiences, yeah, many people have had similar things. That maybe they've tried to commit suicide or just not been able to handle being here on Earth at this time. And yet, here we are. We're still here. And, yeah... Maybe today it's a reflection. You know, what have I learned? I mean, that would probably take me a week to tell you what I've learned in this live stream. Essentially, it's just to keep going. You know, baby steps. Keep taking those little steps and keep moving forward. Even if it don't, sometimes doesn't feel like we're moving forward, we just, just keep going. Another key thing that I've learnt is about being gentle. I really got that being in the Ajahn Chah uh, Theravadan tradition. About gentleness, seeing how hard we are in the West with ourselves. How we're not gentle. We treat ourselves terribly. The cruelty, especially internally, that we, we, we give ourselves, that we give each other through our judgments. That's key for me, you know, just really learning to be gentle with ourselves and with other people. We have this really deep conditioning to be hard on ourselves we're not good enough and I certainly that's been coming up for me the past six weeks they say in the shamanic tradition I trained with that you you have a period six weeks prior to your birthday which is like a, a period of chaos that those lessons that you've not learnt before your birthday they come up and certainly it's felt like that these past six weeks. I mean, 2015 has felt challenging to me. Thinking, what have I learned? Because <laughs> I seem to be going through the same patterns. And yet, yeah, it's like taking that depth, it's that initiation. You know, listening to Ajahn Menindo talk uh, yesterday about... Yeah, patience, cultivating patience. It's, it's when it's challenging that we cultivate that. And, you know, Ajahn Menindo was talking about Ajahn Chah, his teacher, and him just saying that, um, you know, when everything else is gone, what you're left with, Ajahn Chah would say, you're left with patience. You know, when your tools stop working, 
a bit like for me the last few few months. You know, when they stop working, what do we have left? And it's patience. And that's the thing with just keeping on going. We just keep going, and then we keep going. And this is patience. This is where we cultivate. And you know, the learning is patient perseverance. Patient perseverance. And we do live in this throwaway society at the moment where we do just want to give up and when we don't get our own way and through the practice, especially I've been coming back to this more and more about coming full circle, really immerse myself in Buddhism for the three and a half years I was in the monastery and kind of I let go of it a bit after leaving the monastery. Although I was still teaching the meditation and the Buddhism, now I was looking at different paradigms like shamanic, um, like the metaphysics, the law of attraction. And it's been interesting this past year coming back to Buddhism, just seeing how much it really resonates in my own heart. So yeah, it's 40 years, 40 years I've been here and that's one of the things which have been coming up the last six weeks is realising through my Buddhist studies, through the shamanic work that I've done, realising that I've been here on this, in this live stream for, you know, thousands of lifetimes, if not millions of lifetimes as we all have and therefore 40 today, you know, coming up to my 40th birthday, it doesn't very mean that much really because I've been here so many times before and it's a good reflection and I certainly one that came helped to break the hold that my ego had on me when I was living in the monastery I remember that first birthday I had, it was my 27th and I'd been in the monastery six months and I'd taken up the uh, uh, novice, the postulant monk precepts about a month before and on my 27th birthday, I guess I was expecting, oh, you know, I'd have the day off, I could do what I wanted to do, and, you know, just be, you know, as all birthdays had been, it was about me, my ego, about getting what I wanted, getting the presents that I wanted, doing what I wanted, indulging. And on the day of my 27th birthday, it was the same as all other days in the monastery. I had to work, uh, you know, I got a couple of cards from the monks and a few gifts, but still got up at five o'clock in the morning, still, you know, had evening puja, evening chanting at 7.30, and it was like, but I don't want that, I, I want to have a birthday, I want to, you know, I might not want to go and drink, but I want to go and have a special time, and, and oof really struggled with that <laughs> and yet you know probably the the start of my breakdown when my ego started to collapse this you know this really unhealthy man boy boy man boy child and since then my birthday yeah it's been lovely to celebrate but I guess I haven't had the attachment to it it's like oh yeah it's a nice day it's lovely seeing friends. This last weekend I spent it with friends and we just played games. You know, obviously, lots of kids there, the kids that I look after uh, and I have looked after over the years. And it's just lovely just to play hide and seek and uh, football. We made up some new games, frizzball. <laughs> and yeah, it's just really beautiful. And, but not getting attached to it. It's like, mm, it's beautiful. not seeing that I have to get my way it has to go right it 
just this. Yeah, so my, my, in certainly the Thai tradition on your, your birthday, you give a gift. Ajahn Sumedho was 80 last year, and at his birthday he gave away lots of books, his anthology of teaching. And so, this is my gift to you today, on my birthday, is that you're an amazing being. It's 2015, and it's been a struggle for a lot of us this year. And what I'd say to all of you, is just to keep going. You're an amazing being. And as we shift through this year, and into 2016, we're just going to start waking up, all of us. It's going to get easier that we'll be able to be more flexible, to drop things more easily, move into our joy. Not getting our own way, but the joy of renunciation, of, of letting go. So, you're amazing, that's my gift to you. You're just such a shiny being of light, and I feel such a delight being here, and able to share from my heart, from my expression of who I am, that you are amazing, that, you know... Thank you for getting this far, being here, being on this earth, adding this light that shines so bright at this time when all is unfolding, with all that we are withholding is, is nothing. We must let go. We can let go. We can shine, shine with delight. And as the rain starts to fall now, it's like, mm, I'll upload this and so much for supporting me in my videos or on Facebook and uh, thank you for all my friends and your gifts and your love <coughs> <coughs> so 